We all may have different requirements, but when it comes to web browsers, we need fast, secure, customizable, and delightful experience on both Windows and Mac. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. You may be wondering why we are only considering Chromium browsers. Chromium is an open source browser project that lets developers build their own browser on top of that. As a result, the market is flooded with Chromium browsers. So I thought why not to take out the time and suggest you the best ones. And yes, there are perks to using Chromium browsers. If you have ever used Google Chrome, which most people have, then Chromium browsers will feel very familiar to you. This will shorten your learning curve and you will adapt to the browser very easily. As it is open source, there is nothing shady in the code. Though there are some browsers on the list that don't fall under this category of open source but still are trustworthy. Some have built-in trackers and ad blockers that enhances privacy and security. Most Chromium browsers are very easy to use and take a single click to set up. You get the option to use thousands of extensions that will extend the functionality of your Chromium browser. Getting that out of the way, let's kick things off with the first browser that is Microsoft Edge. Internet Explorer was given a new life when its parent company Microsoft decided to change it into a Chromium based browser. Since then nothing has remained the same. If you are moving on from Google Chrome then it will take you a little time to adjust to Edge. It does offer a lot of features and convenience especially for Windows users. It has collections that lets you save sets of tabs for later use like if you visit certain tabs first thing in the morning or one for your social accounts. You can open all those tabs in one click. And they all will be grouped nicely. If you get lost in the tabs, then you can set the tabs to vertical format for better usability. We can also install web apps. With that, websites will work like an app. For example, Spotify. Split View also works wonder for productivity. And for quick access, you can take advantage of the sidebar. There are even more features that you will find here and there once you start to use the browser. However, I have placed Edge at the bottom of our list without thinking about the heat it will bring to the comment section but I did so due to the reason that it is closed source. Moving on to the next one Chrome. It has been around for a long time and is snappy, reliable, convenient to use and it's managed by Google. I would recommend this browser if I was filming this video 10 years ago, but not today. Yes, it is simple and clean browser, but again, it is closed source. And you know how good reputation Google holds in terms of data privacy. If you are just looking for a browser that gets the job done and is not complicated to use, then go with Chrome. If not, watch the whole video as I have better options. Opera, Opera, whatever you want to call it, is not what we used to know. They have revamped the browser. Now it's fast, user experience is way better and they also made a separate version of the browser dedicated solely to gamers. Talking about its user interface, it's better than Edge and Chrome. It also has a free and pro VPN, built-in messenger and ad blocker. Opera is feature packed and doesn't seem to have many problems except one that we faced with previous ones closed source. Again, I would suggest it as your last resort, but if you are fine with the offerings, then it's a better option as compared to Chrome and Edge. Next, we will be moving to even better options that are also open sourced. Here we have Vivaldi. When I used Vivaldi, it had a lot of things that got me overwhelmed at first, but after giving myself some minutes to adapt, I liked how the whole interface was made. I could easily access my bookmarks and reading list as it is clipped to the left side. It has so many features built right into it like translate, notes, mail, calendar, RSS feed, contact list, messenger and even Wikipedia. Yes, we can turn them off. Other features include ad blocker, split view and a PIP mode which lets you watch video while you work. Then you won't work. Ha! Again, all that comes packed in an open source browser so you can use it without worrying about data being sold to companies. The only thing I don't like is that there is no hierarchy of tools. It feels like all the tools are clubbed and their positioning makes no sense. Here comes an infamous one. Before that, if you are liking so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you need something like Chrome but more private and secure, then Brave Browser has the potential to become your daily browser. It is open source and started to pick up heat in terms of security and privacy during the crypto rush. I remember their YouTube ads and how they compared it to Google. I have been using Brave for past two years and it's been great so far. It is snappy, blocks trackers, ads, comes with a VPN which is paid and if you want even more secrecy, you can go with Tor inside Brave. 
A small con I would say to the brave is that it has crypto ads. They usually show images and news about crypto world, supported by a reward system. Of course, you can opt out in the settings. However, in exchange for that, brave rewards you with their bat tokens. You can use those tokens to support your favorite creators, purchase gift cards, or transfer them to your Web3 wallet. That being said, let's talk about the last one and my personal favorite, Arc Browser. Arc Browser has been out for a couple of years. In the beginning, you couldn't just go and download it. Arc had invite-only access. One could only use it if he or she was invited by someone who was already using it. This strategy created the hype for the browser while giving some time to the developers to polish it. Recently, they opened the Arc Browser for everyone and they start rolling out for Windows as well. It has a user experience and design that I haven't seen anywhere else. The browser looks very minimal and clean. In fact, it feels like Apple has designed it and the experience is quite similar on Windows 2 that we covered in a recent video. On Mac device, it takes advantage of haptic feedback. The extra detail felt nice. There are tons of tools like we can take notes inside Arc, create whiteboards, with boosts, we can create or download custom versions of websites. Tidy Tabs feature automatically moves unused tabs to archive section so you can come back later. To manage profiles better, we have spaces. We can switch swiftly between spaces like going from personal to work mode from here. It also gives the option to hide the side panel and experience a full screen which is honestly feels better. One feature I noticed was that I could group tabs together in split screen and then save them so that I could come back later. There are some other features and details that will make you feel delightful while using the browser. It is an open source browser and has the best user experience so far. If you are looking for a fresh Chromium browser, then I would say that you must try the Arc. You will love it. That's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Now if you are looking for the best cloud storage, then this video will definitely help and if you are looking for the ms office alternate because i know it's paid and you want something free then there you go like share subscribe stay safe bye, -bye.